Yo, welcome back to the channel, folks. Welcome back to the Madden 12 Carolina Panthers Rebuild Franchise, Episode 5. Now, today, as you look at it, we got some, we got some, a lot of position battles going on, of course. Teddy Bridgewater is our starter. DJ Moore's the number one receiver. Curtis Samuel, those are one two punch. And after that, it's pretty much wide open. A lot of players been playing good. As you can see, we need to get better on the offensive line. We might sign some people, we might trade for some people. Addison, uh, I believe for the right outside linebacker position, we're going to go ahead and I got a surprise for y'all, you know, as the episodes go on. But for now, Bruce Irvin going to take over that starting spot, man. Definitely speed, definitely rush the passer. Bradbury, he's not going to beat out. <laughs> Even though it says that, he's not going to beat out, you know, Dante Jackson. Dante Jackson clearly is our number one, you know, cornerback. Bradbury, number two. And that's the rundown on that. As you see, Trey Boss is going to be our starting safety. And right now, Antoine Burkle got this starting spot, man, heading to week two over Eric Reed. Now, another update gives y'all an update on some news around the NFL. This is a feature that they did take out of the current gen. As you can see, Antonio Brown decided he's going to sign with the Bears. And the Jaguars has definitely been busy, man. The Deontay Freeman signed with the Jaguars. Three-year deal worth $13 million. And Antonio Brown, three year, 20, almost 21, 20 and a half million. So that's a rundown of that. And now, like I guess this is another feature that I like that, that you could pretty much scout and it tells you the rundown of each player on a team that you're going against that opponent. And as you can see, you're going against the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins is the team that's, they suck ass. I ain't gonna be this a best way of saying, you know what I mean? So as you can see, just scrolling through each position. It tells you to run out the elite, average, you know, so on and so forth. You know what I mean? So, that's a run out of that. As I'm just scrolling through this, I, we have the edge definitely up front on both sides of the ball. <laughs> Ain't no doubt about that. So, if we can take advantage of that. Without further ado, let's get into this game play. All right, folks. Now, here we are taking on the Miami Dolphins. Now, my <laughs> they used to be my team back in the day, but enough of that. Ain't gonna get too much in that now. Like I said, we got I think we got an edge on special defensive line. We got one of the best, if not the best defensive line, man. As you can see, Caleb Elias take that toss, he picks up a couple on the play. And it's gonna make up a 36. Now, Ryan Fitzpatrick is a starting quarterback. You know, this is not the up best. We get a sack, baby. Let's go. This is not the up updated with two and all that, but this is last year's roster. So here we are on offense, man. We're gonna get the handoff to Christian McCaffrey. He has lots of running room. That could have been six, man. If he would have <clears throat> could have shook out one on player, that definitely would have been six. Teddy Bridgewater hit Curtis Samuel, and that's not gonna help out your quarterback. Are you dropping passes? That's not, definitely not gonna help. A third and ten. We're gonna see if we can hit White on that little out route, that corner route up there. One on one coverage. I don't see why we can't, baby. Let's go. Touchdown. That's easy work. But just like that, we up seven to nothing. Oh, we got it sold up back here. Pick that, pick that. Let's go. Like I say, Bradbury so far this seat, this deep preseason, has he shown that he can be number one, but Dante Jackson is clearly that number one, man. Play action pass, and we hit Greg Olsen, and just like that, we capitalize off the turnover. And for that subscriber, I can't remember, so I'm sorry I can't remember the name, but he decided, you know, I said I was going to start Ian Thomas over Greg Olsen, and he much, oh, what? <laughs> yo, you, yo, go get your hands checked, but he decided when I said that, he thought I was crazy, but, you know, it, it's a toss up in the air, you know what I mean? It, it's a toss up. Even though Greg Olsen is up there in age, he he stand, he can be reliable. So, you know, if Ian Thomas, what he got working for him is that he's young. So, we kind of develop him and, you know, turn into what we want him to turn into. So, like I say, it's, it's a toss-up. But Teddy Bridge wrote a pretty up time, and he just fixed it over the linebacker head. And Curtis Samuel nearly picks up a first down. All right, second and 11. Play action, we got no time to throw that. I seen that coming from the start, and he fumbles. Like, yo. 
<sighs> Let's see what they can capitalize on that turn over. Cable Lodge take the draw play. He picks up four, maybe five on the play. All right, second and eight. We back here hunting. We hunting back here. Oh, yeah, we got one of those. Oh, yes, sir. We got one of those. Money down. Let's, let's make a play. And we cannot make a play. And he gets it out to Wilson. And Wilson picks up a first down. First and 10. Francis Patrick, man, he is working his magic at the moment, man. We got to tighten up. Definitely tighten up. Oh, that's doing from the start. Let's go. The old veteran, the Oklahoma Sooner. Jerry McCoy with a play. Let's go. Second and 12. Nice handle. They're really trying to get him going. He gets drilled, but luckily they fall back on it. But they did get three out of their drive. First and 10. Like I said, Chris McCaffrey is not going to see no, hardly no action in this preseason. No priest, no. Uh uh. As y'all know, on these, on these Xbox and, and and right, you gotta hold on to that. But Xbox and PS2 days, you can end your career. Like <laughs> they had career in the injuries, and it, it don't it. As we get a sack right there, it don't happen a lot. It happens unexpected. You know what I mean? So definitely don't want that to happen to our superstar. It's Teddy Bridgewater takes off, and he's showing the wheels. Get what you can and get out of bounds. That's all you can do. And Mike Davis is definitely gonna be a solid backup, but we don't have that like that thumper, that power back. So I believe in the future, probably this preseason, we're gonna go out and sign for one. And Teddy Bridgewater gets it out to his fullback, and that's exactly why your ass play fullback. <laughs> Didn't hardly get any kind of action. Like 32. Offensive line is handling up pretty well, and as Mike Davis shows off his hands and he picks up the first down. Like I said, we're gonna make a couple of moves, you know what I mean? Throughout this preseason, and what a dot by <laughs> Teddy Bridgewater. He is Andrew White. Now he is definitely have, having a solid preseason so far. Now he can jump up in that slot position, that receiver. Nice blocking it. He turned it up field and Davis is loose, but not before he get tackled. Second to six. Like I said, DJ Moore and Curtis Samuel, that's lockdown. That's total one two punch right there. As you can see, White is definitely showing that he deserves more reps on the field. You know what I mean? So he definitely earning that. Definitely earning that. So that oh you nice broken tackle. We get in the end zone. Kind of didn't see him out there for a second. So that the, like I was saying, that third, that slot position is definitely up for grabs. Fitzpatrick gets it out to the tight end. I believe he played for Penn State. I believe. I can't. Jaseki, I think that's his name. But third and 12 here. Nice handoff to the fullback. And the fullback, that's three and out. Let's go. Yeah, we definitely probably will need some more speed outside of DJ Moore and Curtis Samuel. We definitely need, need some more speed. So we might add to that. As you can see, right? Like I said, right? And the Andrew White are definitely showing they ass this preseason so far. And even, even though it's only two games, I know it's only two games, but they are definitely showing their ass. As we are up 25 to 3, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and somebody got to get their hands on those. No excuses. Oh, it's raining. Nah, that ain't no excuse. Ryan Fitzpatrick over the middle, and his receivers is definitely not helping them out. Especially when it counts the most. At third down and 10 for us. This line is definitely, oh yes sir, white. Like I was saying, man, right and white. I say that three times fast, but they, them two are balling, man. I can't, I must admit. Like Davis up the middle. And he picks up a first down. On a side note. Like I was saying, I know a lot of people say, who oh, you got, man, fuck you, and, and leave it at that. But if, I mean a big if, Madden 21 it develops some kind of stride better than Madden 20, I probably will try to kind of do a series on that. I'm, these two going to be my forefront. This, Madden 12, and NCAA 11. But I kind of want to throw one more series in there. If I do, are y'all rocking with it? It's, it's 
I won't upload it as much, but if I upload and it does well, then you know, be expecting three, but right now it's for two. Right now we are driving nice play by the defender right there. And this is our first, first kick against this action this game. Let's see if he can nail this 38 yard field goal. I know a lot of folks gonna say when they listen to this, oh, you gonna start a new shit, man. I wanna see you start a YouTube channel. You know, get creative ideas off videos. I wanna see you do that. You know what I mean? And have people agreeing what you putting out. You know what I mean? So, and for those OGs that have been rocking with me since day one, appreciate y'all, love y'all. Like, like I see every video, I can't do this without y'all, man. But for those folks who never satisfied, man, fuck you and go play in traffic, for real. All right, here we are, first and 10. And we are big. As you can see, the weather has definitely changed. The weather has definitely changed. It was raining and cloudy and nice. The sun is peeking out, you know what I mean? So that's a little side note that I like about these old school games. But second and 10, Ryan Street Pack, now we got us one of those, man. Like I said, I want to take this damn dude head off, man, for real. You know how you, you get one of them slow quarterback that you know they don't supposed to run. They don't got no business running. <laughs> like, yeah. And but that's Josh Rosen, I believe. Definitely Josh Rosen down here. It's the, it's it's a toss up in the air between Kyle Allen and Will Greer. Both of them is kind of having that similar, you know, so far preseason. They they kind of neck and neck. So it's a toss up for the backup quarterback position. Now Bonafide, he's definitely having a quiet okay preseason. He's definitely you know, I wouldn't say a backup, but he's fighting for that third down running back spot. He got Allen dropped back to pass, and that yo, <laughs> what in the hell was you throwing that to? Or who was you throwing that to? Pretty action, and that was doomed from the damn start. Like I said, when it's time for the all season to draft, we are addressing the offensive line, whether it's through free agency or the draft. For real. Kyle Allen dropped back the pass and he's showing off the wheels. Show them wheels, baby. Let's go. Show them slow ass wheels. You got the first down, though. Right, play action. Keep them on the heels. Go up, up. There you go. There you go. Way, way to hold on to that rock, baby. First down. Let's go. Now, like I was saying, man, it is. It's a toss up. Kyle Allen shows flashes that he can't be a backup, but <laughs> not on that player right there. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that cornerback blitz. But when certain situations for each quarterback, Allen and Greer, they kind of step up in their own way. And like right there, perfect pass, man. Receiver got to get your hands on it. You touch your hands, you got to catch it. Who is that? Oh, <laughs> no pressure. That's pick six. Yep. That's pick six. He taking that thing to the crib. <laughs> That's pick six. And somehow, somewhere, they get on the board, man, as far as touchdown wise. But we still up big. This game is definitely in the hand, in the bag. It's bona fide. Let's go. Showing off the wheels. Stiff arm in the wrong way. But here, we'll take that big run. The offensive line is definitely doing their thing. Let's see, picks up four, maybe five on that play, maybe six. Second and five. It's like these backup offensive linemen is playing a lot better than the starter offensive linemen. It's pretty much sad and oh, it's slightly, slightly unthrown right there. Overthrown, my bad. Overthrown. Yo, this bliss off the edge is is something serious, man. As we go three and out. Y'all see who in that backfield? Yes, sir. Them twin towels back there. Definitely, the coaching staff got some big, I mean, big plans for Antoine. I mean, big plans. So you gotta stick around for that. But second and 12. As far as Josh Rosen, man, in real life, I feel sorry for the dude, like for real. I mean, as he picks up the first down, I mean, this kid was drafted, and then they went out and drafted Kyler Murray, and they traded him, and Yo, it, it's, it's definitely a tough look if I was him, man. But I think as we get the sack right there, I believe his career is not over. 
I mean, it's more, it's looking that way, yeah, but I really, he go to the right situation. He's not no starter quarterback. A solid backup, man. He go to a team to where he can just learn and sit and just in case if, you know, the starting quarterback go down, he'll be definitely be ready. But as of right now, this dude career is just, it's so, <laughs> I wouldn't say it's on the decline. It's already declined. Like I said, it's, it's, it's still some life there. As you can see, we took too long and they get another sack. Another sack, man. They're going to set up a second and 16. They, yo. Them boys coming off some edges, boy. That's one thing I learned. This game, they are coming hard off the edges, man. They got about four or five sacks as a team. So we definitely got to address that. And I don't know what that was, man. When we three and out. Fourth quarter winding down, first and ten for us. We got this thing in the bag. I meant to, on a side note, I meant to release this video on the weekend, but like I see, nice catch right there. But got a little sick. I was sick the whole weekend, so I've been grinding out these Madden 12 videos. As Jabari make a tackle right there, but I'm, I'm feeling a little better as I'm commentating on this. It is Monday afternoon as I'm recording this the commentating I already played the game but just commentating over it but as you can see Cockrell gets the interception that's pretty much gonna do it first and 15 running a couple of plays and that's gonna be the end of the ball game but like I was saying meant to release this on Saturday and I was so <laughs> I was just sick man just I mean like really sick but as Burton make the nice catch right there but I'm trying to release about four or five videos this week. It, 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 a video each day of the week so far. This week. That's the plan. As you can see who... Yo. <laughs> Z, you got to catch those. Like right, second and ten. The running game has definitely... I wouldn't want to say it's been out good for tape, but yeah, not on that play. And he tack on the holder. So it's going to bring up a second and twenty. He's blocking on that edge. Let's go. Nice. Yo, that was perfect blocking right there. Perfect blocking. I mean, he really got touched until he got tackled in the end zone. But for this game, the negatives, don't let them beat you. Oh, nice makeup speed right there. But like I said, the takeaway from this game, we definitely dominated, but as far as protection the offensive side of the ball protection 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 on the quarterback they've got to the edge you know a lot some of that do to me holding on to the ball too long yeah but as you can see if we get our quarterback plenty of time he will find his open receiver so that's the issue with this episode now going forward like i said in the off season in a draft we definitely will address the issue whether it's in free agency or the draft probably gonna be both but as this video video winded down i want to thank y'all salute to y'all all the ogs the newcomers subscribe if you new hit that like button i mean break your phone computer whatever you watching this on just break it subscribe to the channel man you know what i mean and big shout out to all my franchise gurus that i'm involved with a twitter group man big shout out to y'all and Everybody in that group, man, they got some big things coming, man. I promise you. Everybody in that group got some big things coming. Everybody from Paracro to Uncle Sam's Reject to Big C, K Freezy. I mean, everybody. Sorry if I left you out. I can't remember everybody's name at the moment, but y'all know who y'all are. And like I say, everybody in that group, they got some big things coming. So be on the lookout for that. As you can see, we in the game on the 38 to 10 win man we looking good looking alive it's on the second preseason game but we got some strengths and weaknesses some things we need to work on some things we don't we don't clean it up as the season as the season goes on the preseason goes on and that's gonna be fun man we appreciate y'all for rocking with me and i'm gone